we're now in the position to start working towards reopening. We're in the position to set the conditions for reopening and based on the best advice available to us, working closely with our health experts, our government has developed a framework for reopening Ontario's economy. This framework is a roadmap. It will guide our collective decision-making. It lays out the threshold we need to hit, the targets we need to work towards. Number one, virus spread and containment. Number two, health system capacity. Number three, public health system capacity. And number four, incident tracking capacity. The framework is about how we're reopening, not when we're reopening. And let me be crystal clear. As long as this virus remains a threat to Ontario, we will continue to take every precaution necessary. We will continue to act based on the best advice available to us. No one wants the economy to open up more than I do, but we can't take anything for granted. We can't take unnecessary risks. We are releasing this framework today because while you're doing your part, whether that's working on the front lines or staying home to keep each other safe, our government is doing ours by charting the course for what comes next. The reopening phase of our plan will happen in three stages. We aren't going to reopen everything at once. Instead, we're listening carefully to the advice of our health professionals and opening in a way that's responsible, assessing progress for two to four week periods before going further. In each stage, there will be a natural progression in how workplaces, services, and public spaces can operate. Those that are lower risk or can immediately meet public health guidance will open first. And as we continue to get the outbreak under control, we'll continue to ease the restrictions. We'll also provide very clear public health guidance so that you can keep yourself, your family, your neighbours, your employees and your customers safe and healthy. Our colleague, Minister McNaughton, Minister of Labour, in partnership with Ontario's Safety and Health Association, business and labour leaders, and based on input from public health officials, will provide guidelines to employers on how to open safely and protect their employees and their customers. Documents will be made available across many sectors, as well as training to provide guidance to workplaces entering the restart phase. We've also added more workplace inspectors and specialists to ensure workers continue to be protected on the job during the pandemic, including adding close to 60 new frontline officials to support employers and workers in the field. And the capacity of Ontario's health and safety call centre has been doubled. Just as people's actions are why we are not experiencing the worst case scenario,